All right, so uh, today we got a MacBook Air A1466. Uh, motherboard model number is 820165A. Uh, and this came in as no power. But when testing, it seems like it's the computer is powering on, but there's no backlight. This is how the backlight circuit is boosted. There's a fuse here. Uh, it's coming from PP Bus G3 Hot. And here we, you would have the backlight enable and reset. And it goes all the way here. And from here, the IC, which is U7701. Uh, the LPA550, this would uh, boost the circuit uh, from, it would boost the voltage from 8 volts to, after the, di uh, the diode, you will get the output, which is usually ar around 40, 50 volts, depending on the, uh, how much brightness you have. So for now, I think we're getting this 8 volts here, but it's dropping and we get Pretty much nothing here. Uh, so let's check voltages here. Uh, first thing I'm concerned about here is uh, <clears throat> I'm going to check the those signals here. Let me show you which ones. Uh, it's going to be these, backlight enable and reset. These should be both 3.3 uh, volts to enable this to switch um, the voltage to the other side. So here's this is the LVDS connection. And right next to it, you've got these two MOSFETs. So this, um, actually this bottom one would be the one we're looking at. And the middle pins are the enable pins. And we are getting 3.3 volts and 3.3 volts. OK, this top one. No. Oh, the stop one is gone now. No, it is not. Okay, so we got 3.3 volts on both sides. That's not a problem. We got 8.5 volts on the fuse. Let me show you here. This would be the fuse where it says P here. And we got 8.6 volts, so this is normal. Next thing we want to check is... Is this 8.5 getting its way to the other side of the MOSFET, Q7706? And that would be checked on pin 1256, which is if we look at the board view here. 1256. So that would be 1256. So it's going to be these two and the other two bottom pins and here we are getting 8.62 as well all right and backlight is 8.62 as well so we're not getting a boost for the backlight so this is where we could test the backlight We could check it right here. This is the backlight output. And we get 8.5. So that's not good enough for the backlight to work. Seems most likely we don't have a... So far we see that everything is enabled. Uh, let's double check on this. Okay, so that's U770... <clears throat> I'm sorry, U7701. 
and the enable would be uh, enable is going to be pen backlight backlight enable that's it it's going to be pen 3 here backlight enable that could be tested on the uh, capacitors right next to it. Actually, the resistors R7715 and R7731. All right, we're going to get some plugs here. So even though I reflowed this IC, it still wouldn't work, so I'm not going to go ahead and reboot it, I'm just going to replace it. This is the area I said that I went through and cleaned before the video. As you can see, there there was pretty good corrosion here underneath it. All right, give me one sec. All right. So we're gonna thin the pads pretty good. I'm gonna do some good cleaning here. I could have used a smaller one, but this would be the job. Then go ahead and check the orientation of that chip before removing it. Uh, but I know that this would go uh, pin one would be on the top right. So I could still see some corrosion here. So as I said, uh, pin 1 would be at the top right. Let's just double check with the schematic here. Okay, okay so as you can see, this is U7701 and pin 1 is at the top. Uh, we're doing, uh, we have the board same orientation. So let's go ahead and get that IC. Replaced. Hello. All right. 
So let's first check the revolving of this chip. And this new chip looking good. I always like to check the revolving on it. This would be, let's see, oh, come on, let's see where this pin one on this one would be right here, right up here, I uh, believe, where that dot is. So we're going to go ahead. Once you see it moving like this, this is where you know all the solder balls are good. We have melted good. Again, let's do some cleaning. We're gonna wait for this to cool down a bit and then we're gonna put it under testing. Uh, as you can see, we got a backlight. This is a done repair. Uh, I'm just gonna replace that fuse, take care of the rest of the stuff, put it back together, and uh, we call it a fix. Uh, again, I hope uh, you enjoy the video uh, and you learned something, and I will see you in the next one.